Hey, I'm Joe from Auto Automator, a Shopify app that saves you time and money by automating tasks, mostly with order management and fulfillment, but we have some other features too, and we also do custom solutions. So I'm just going to show you a walkthrough of our app, the quick uh, onboarding process, and how each of the features works. So I'll go ahead and install this from the App Store. It's an embedded Shopify app, so it's going to install right into your store there. Uh, feel free to check out our reviews. Give us a shout if you have any questions. Uh, we're happy to help. We like to automate things for your store. So you'll start off here on the plans page and you can do unlimited. That includes every feature. There's a seven day free trial uh, or the free plan, which includes the fraud guard feature. And that's something every Shopify store can, can use. I'll, I'll show you that here in a minute. So I'll go ahead and select the unlimited plan here. And it's just gonna ask you to approve the charges. It's $10 a month. And we're always adding new features and we take requests too. And um, so let us know if something's missing or you need some additional functionality there. So um, once you're inside the app, you'll see in the sidebar here that uh, each page um, pertains to features for different features within the app. And every page is also gonna have a, an info banner at the top here just to let you know some tips and what the features are about there. You can close those later with the X if you want. So your dashboard is just gonna be a basic overview of what you have going on there. And um, you can set your order processing time here. Uh, that's by default usually good to go just um, as Shopify orders come in, but you can decide to delay if you have some other processing or if you have a checkout upsell app that needs to modify orders, for example. Okay, each of the features here, we got the auto tag feature. This tags orders or customers. And we have a couple default rules there created for you and they're disabled by default. You can enable them if you want to. Uh, but basically what you'll do is you'll select some rule parameters. Uh, you'll have different parameters here that you can select. Just to show you a quick test, we'll select, uh, we'll say if the product vendor is equal to, uh, you know, vendor A, you know, whatever your vendor's name is, um, then you can go ahead and add a tag vendor A. Now that rule is created. And every time a new order comes in, and it has products from vendor A, it's gonna automatically tag the order, vendor A. And if we wanna notify them, you can add the, your vendor's email address there, edit the subject and show options, you know, maybe only show the items from vendor A and give the shipping information and maybe uh, a custom, custom message there. And that's how the rule system works. That's gonna work for, for um, you know, the tagging orders, customers, fulfillment. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up there and manage. Customers is the same, uh, except uh, just tagging customers instead of orders. And with the auto fulfill, you can create fulfillment rules and you can either fulfill items, request a fulfillment to a third party service, or just change the location, select the location, and, and you'll have your rules show up there. Common one is if the product shipping not required, just automatically fill with the, the item. So I'll go ahead and enable that. That's pretty common. And you can also, we have a remote tracking feature here so you can allow third party vendors to that don't have access to your store to update tracking on orders. So they'll, they'll get an email with a secure link to do that. And then if you have Amazon Seller Central account, you can connect it to your Shopify store with Order Automator. And this works for any Amazon marketplace in the world. Uh, we're an Amazon development partner and we have can set up that connection. So your inventory syncs and you can have your Shopify orders automatically fulfilled, updated with tracking and, mar and uh, via Amazon uh, when they ship. So if you're on Amazon, check that out. Now we also have a monitoring feature. So this just runs a job every day to check on the status of orders. So um, or certain order actions. Um, same thing there, you can you can just see the, the rule options and create rules to do that. So this is commonly used to get notified if an, when orders get refunded, you know, maybe notify management. Or also if an order is, you know, X days old and it hasn't been fulfilled yet, there might be a reason to investigate it so you can have a notification sent to staff. Now the fraud guard feature that's included in the free plan, this can uh, send a notification to you or your staff anytime a high or medium risk order comes in. That's 
via the Shopify fraud analysis uh, as they determine the recommendation. And you can have it cancel orders too. So a lot of people like to cancel high-risk orders automatically uh, because they can often be fraudulent orders or result in a chargeback. So you got some options there. You can play around with those. That's a free feature. Now with the bulk process feature, you can process old orders or just a single order. So processing a single order might be useful if you're creating a bunch of new rules and you just want to test them out and you can do that. If you want to see what the notifications look like, do that. Um, and then the processing old orders can help for organizing you know, your, your tag. So for example, if you want to tag all your orders or customers that use a certain discount code for the month, uh, you can do that and then you'll have a, a list, a uh, quick link to all those tagged customers and you can export them, maybe send them another discount or ask how their product is, um, market, however you want to do that. If you never need any help, just go to the help page on the app and you'll have the link to our uh, FAQ. That'll solve most of your problems. Uh, Order Automator works 100% of the time, so if a rule isn't working as expected, it's almost always because the Shopify order data doesn't match the, the rule that you have exactly um, at the time the order was processed. So that'll give you some tips to solve that, but you can also contact us if you need any help. Uh, we're happy to help there. And if you have any ideas or feature requests, uh, hit us up too, because we, we like to create solutions for our community. And a lot of our features were created because someone uh, requested it and it was a good idea. So you can change plans here too if you want. This is uh, the unlimited plan I selected. So if I wanted to downgrade to the free plan, you just click that there. And um, that'll also save all your rules and your settings. So if you just wanted to temporary downgrade, you can do that as well. Go to the free plan and upgrade again when you're ready. So that's it. Uh, thanks for checking out this video and, and our app, Order Automator. Uh, we, we like creating solutions. In addition to our Shopify apps, we also create uh, private apps, custom solutions, uh, and custom plugins um, for our app users if they just want to or automate anything or um, you know just add additional functionality to, to, to their store. So give us a shout if you need anything. Thanks, and uh, good luck with your store, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.